What's happening guys? Sean and Logan here with the Boys of the North YouTube channel. We are heading north this week on an exciting adventure to go after eel pout. We tried last week and had no luck. We ended up getting walleye, but uh, those are out of season right now. So we're trying it again. We're going until we get eel pout. We're just going to stay out on the ice. We're ice camping again. Me and Logan are going to get after it. Right? You're going to fish, buddy? Yep. We're filling up two 20 pound propane tanks right now, so we're ready to go. Yeah. You ready to go get some bait? Uh huh. Oh, all right. Just need some bait. You on it? You feel good on there? Here. Good. You can lift your head up. Okay. You helping? Gives it a good glow. Okay. Oh yeah, we got a fish. Here, hold this. Hold the light there. Good job, bud. I just dropped this down. What do you think it is? It's a big one. It's a big one. Oh, it's not a lamp. Look how much line we pulled up. Ooh, this is a nice fish. This is a big eel pal. Yeah, shine down the hole. Ready? Ready, Logan? It's big. Oh my god, it's big. It's a giant eel pout. Yes. It's a giant eel pout. Oh my God, Logan. Logan. Look at the eel pout. Whoa. Yes. Oh my God. We did it. Wow. Dude. What is that? A eel pout. Yeah, eel pout. Mommy said we'll catch fishy. A big one. A big one? Yes. Dude, we caught a giant. Yes. Over 31. Um, Burbs. Check out this giant. Huge eel pout. Over 31 inches. Got to be put over 10 pounds, huh? Boy, look at that. Check out the coloring. Just a beautiful fish. This is one of the coolest fish I've ever caught. Check out the belly. I mean, he is just colored up. Wait, Daddy, look on the bottom. Yeah, check him out. Yeah, he's got a barbel. Look at that spot. Yeah. Boy, 
get him. Come over here. Look at that eel, big eel tail. That is so awesome. On the tip up. We just put the tip up down. Wow. Imagine catching one of these on the rod. All right. What do you think, bud? How awesome is that? Let's see. Here, get back. Oh, come on, we gotta get him back. He is a big guy. Okay, look at that. Hold on. Yeah, you're gonna get slimed up, bud. Hold on. You can lip them just like a bass. There, check out that color. Wow, watch out, Logan. That is one awesome fish. That color is insane. I mean, he's even got it in his mouth. Oh, he's trying to bite me. Probably wants to go back. You gonna help? Let's see. He is fat. That is a fat fish. Can't really grab him. Figure it out. Barely fit up the hole. goes slithering down there well hopefully he lives <laughs> yeah you're all slimed up look at our floor mats just slime <laughs> How awesome was that, dude? We caught a giant, yeah. a giant eel pout. Yeah. Poor man's lobster. We want to cook one up, but that guy's way too big. 31 inch eel pout, probably over, but he's curling up on me. There's just pure muscle, that tail. They can, that was so awesome, man. I can't believe we've been out here a couple hours just jigging, no action. And I then I pot, set up the house here put a tip up out with a giant sucker right on the bottom and within what five minutes five minutes the light was up and we went and grabbed them you helped catch them too Whoa. bud high five are we pounding it pound it boom big fish that was a giant fish yeah. how awesome was that man that was so awesome the color that was exactly what i came here for it had you know they've been getting them out of this lake and they're a lot darker in color but that golden shine, the yellow leopard print, he had it all. I mean, that was a beautiful fish. Logan's knocked out. Nice and toasty in here. Get the bells on the rod. That was a nice wake up call. Another nice burb. This one's a lot darker. Pretty cool, huh? The bells started going off. They've been going off a few times and nothing committed. And this guy whacked a big sucker laying on the bottom. Definitely have a smell to them. 
Look at his fins. Mm -hmm. Cool fish. I think we're going to keep this one and uh, backstrap them out and cook some up and see what all the rave is about. Got our one burbot there for our catch and cook. Pretty sunny and bright out, but we're gonna cook some breakfast and get after it here. Do a little hole hopping. It's been more of a daytime bite. We did get one last night at about eight o'clock and one early this morning about 7.30 or so. Still about 22 inches ice there. It's mid-March. Next fish you're reeling in? Yes. Okay. Ow. Walked all the way from over there. Got the lake pretty much to herself. One other guy made the trek. But other than that, pretty sure, as far as I can see, nobody else is fishing out here. Dad, I see you. A couple other look, eel pellet hunters. Nice job. Are you eating the ice? I'm the snow. Just don't eat the yellow snow. The yellow snow? Yeah. Why? That could be dog pee. What? Oh, it's a fish. Yes. It's a fish. Ready? Yes. Here, you pull him. You pull him in. Oh, it's a pike. A pike. Pull him up. Pull him up. <laughs> pull him up, Logan. Nice. <laughs> nice job, buddy. Thanks. Hold on. Hold on. Whoa. There he goes. Oh yeah. Nice and gold. Back straps out of this burbot. Check out that tail. That is cool.
there's our Burbit, our eel pout, poor man's lobster. Right off the bat, just looking at it, I can, it does have a lobster-like texture, I'd say. Gonna bring some home and, gonna bring some fillets home and try it in the traditional way that's bright and seven up, boil it, dip it in butter, but today I'm just going to cook it in butter and throw some seasoning on it, a little snack. Never had burbot before, so we'll see what it's like. See, I'm cooking, cooking some burbot. You want to try some? Hmm? The fish that I caught? Yeah. It was a walleye. Yeah, a walleye. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Oh, there's the finished product. The texture is really different than uh, walleye. It's good though. Ice fishing snacks right here. Well, it's slow morning out here. Nothing came through. Another tip ups went off. Caught two eel pout, a bunch of other fish, and it was a good time camping. Everybody was, we were warm sleeping. Warm sleep, you sleep warm? Yeah. Slept good. Besides the ice, did the ice wake you up? The ice was cracking all night right under our house. Woke up with a big crack through one of our holes this morning, but still plenty of ice. But we're gonna pack up. We got the long trek out of here. Everything smells like burbot. They definitely have a little grease to them. But I can see why they're called poor man's lobster as well. The texture is very lobster-like. I wouldn't say the flavor is as much, but uh, still good to eat. Got some more fillets I'm gonna try at home. We cooked a little bit of little snack last night. Wasn't too bad. But they're just a really cool fish, burbot. They get a bad rap, but they are an important part of the ecosystem. They're a predator. They're out there feeding, just pure muscle. And don't throw them on the ice. And where else are you gonna catch something that looks so cool? They're almost exotic looking. I mean, to be able to catch something like that in, our, in Minnesota is just awesome. load there just got to take it over there and we're out of here operation eel pal was a success and one thing we want to do before we leave is make sure we got all our trash off the lake every season we see a lot of guys leaving their trash on the lake uh, you always want to pick up after yourself this is our second time ice camping definitely be doing a lot more of it next season uh, it takes a little bit of gear, a little bit of work. We don't have a snowmobile or four-wheeler, so it's a, it's a long drag for us, but that makes it half the fun. Got to get to those spots. Nobody's willing to go. Go further than anybody's willing to go and reap the benefits of it. Thanks for watching the Boys of the North YouTube channel. We had a great time ice camping on the lake, catching eel pout. And if you like seeing outdoor adventures, outdoor family adventures, like and subscribe. The quality will get better. Content will get better. We're going to keep filming and get these guys out on the lake fishing. 
doing adventures. You have fun, Logan? I gotta give props to Logan. He is one tough little dude. He made many trips out here with me in the back of the sled, never complained, and uh, he's just a hardcore fisherman. Good job, buddy. All right, Sean and Logan signing off. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on our next adventure. Say bye.